The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Edutabi here, and today we're going to take a look at Joy Toys World War II uh, 118 scale versions of action figure. Uh, this is the German version, I bought two, I bought German and the Americans, really didn't care about the Russian version, so skip that one. Um, but I wanted to pick up these and try them out. I've heard good things, uh, I know Bees Battlegrounds did a video on it, Kato was telling me about them, I think Larkin was telling me about them. I got these from um, Hello Dope Toys. I ordered it from on the shop app. I think it took two days to get here. So super quick shipping on that. Really appreciate that. Check out their site. Uh, no, I know them, no affiliation. Well, I don't get anything out of saying that, but uh, that was just the first time I ordered and it went great. So I'd like to recommend places that do good service, good business. So, um, it's on an uh, interesting type card here. It's just basically taped here and slid on so you can, uh, you don't have, it's not like a, a true blister where you tear it apart. Um, it's got some printed background, probably a scene from World War II, Joy Toy logo, military figures, and Chinese, I'm assuming. A bomber, maybe a fortress, something like that. Um, and then some things right here. World War II, Warmock. Uh, model toy, ABS, PVC, and then the address and the website. And Joy Toy makes a lot of uh, stuff. They make uh, like modern type uh, 118 action figures. They also do the 40K stuff, which I try not to. I like 40K. I played a bunch of the games and stuff like that. I try to stay away from it because I know that's a slippery slope. So, uh -huh. Yeah, so I wanted to give a shot of these and see what it's all about. I have no preconceived notions. It doesn't want to stand because it's just a card, but uh, I have no preconceived notions going in this. And, you know, I really kind of got this just to have like a baseline and hopefully down the road we see like vehicles because I'd love to see a tank or some stuff like that. So, you know, if they're not, then this is probably where it stops. But today, let's take a look at the German version and, uh, Let's go from there. And if you're watching this, please think about uh, subscribing to the channel, liking this video, sharing this video, and think about becoming a member. All right, let's get started. All right, this is something when you go from normally doing a lot of six inch figures to going to uh, 3.75 or 1 18. It's uh, interesting. So you got a uh, fist, actually two different fists, and you got uh, two different holding hands like that. Hope that shows up. Very tiny. We got a stand, which is pretty cool. Just a black stand uh, with one peg in there. Nothing else to it. Uh, we got German bucket, which looks uh, pretty appropriate. There's some battle, not battle damage, but there's some scratches and stuff like that on the bucket on the helmet, like it should be. Got chin straps. This looks just like a German World War II helmet should look. So that's pretty good. Like that, you can see where the metal paint is scratched right there. So that looks good. We got a rifle. Uh, I think this is a Car 98. It's got a scope here, brown, black barrel. The uh, strap is very flexible. I like that it's not like solid plastic that doesn't move. So you can bend it, do whatever you want to with it. And the gun is very stiff, no bendable plastic there, so that's good. And then we've got the other gun, the MP40. Uh, same thing with the sling, got a little belt right there, clip uh, for the strap. Uh, magazine does not come out, painted silver, barrel silver. The uh, stock does move, it's on a ball, so you can fold it around. And just do it like this if you want to do it. That's the option. So that rotates around like that. And that 
come up like there. Okay, so it's made to do that. Okay. Oof. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, I broke it. Oh, you just peg it right in. Okay, cool. Never know. Like, like I said, coming in this with uh, no frame of reference. So here's the figure. Um, the uniform looks pretty good. Kind of looks like the German uniforms do with the colors and the bird on the vest. The jacket overlaps. The jacket is kind of like a separate piece here. You got the baggy pants and, and the, the boots. We got the mags right here. This is molded in. Then we got all his gear uh, that's attached to this uh, belt here. Let's see, does that come off? There's no way. No, it's it's made into the belt. So you got this bed roll and other gear. Uh, canteen, I guess that's canteen. Not sure what this is, but this is loose. You can take this off if you want to. Uh, move the hands up. And this is piece right here, pouch right there, and you got another canister. Maybe this is for grenades. I'm not sure. On this, uh, and then you got the hands that's already fixed on there, like trigger fingers like that. I will tell you, if you ever felt a uh, Star Wars TVC figure, it's kind of what this feels like. The plastic and the, the way it feels, that's what it feels like. His scope looks really good. Nice detail there. Let's see what we got on articulation. So it's on a joint here. You can look around side to side, down, up. Uh, the head will move in and out. I've never seen that. I don't think I like on the ball. It, it'll slide forward like that and back. So that's impressive. Never seen that before. Uh, the arm will go all the way up here. It'll rotate around. You've got, do you have a bicep rotation? No, you've got an elbow, it's more 90. And then you've got the wrist rotates like that. Then you've got, you've got an ab crunch. Okay. In and out. Okay, good. Got waist rotation. Okay. So wasn't expecting that. So the waist and the belt here is not tied into it so it will look how that the belt is a separate piece and the jacket so you can kind of see the hinge in there that's interesting uh leg is on the thigh cut there the leg with the jacket is kind of limited uh, on the back and the side and you can do a little more but you got thigh cut there you've got double knees which that is kind of ugly. I'm going to admit that right there. I don't like the way that looks. But uh, to keep that effect there, I'm not sure how you get around it. Does the boot rotate? There is no boot cut. Uh, and then there's a rocker there. So pretty much everything you'd want out of figure to scale is some nice detail. Let's put this helmet on. Let's see how that looks. Is the helmet going to be... Helmet looks good on there. Okay. Sometimes helmets on figures don't look good. That's a good looking figure. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. They did a good job of this. There's some nice detail and nice weather and all the gear, the bad, the bed map roll. Oh, God, I can't talk. Uh, magazine pouches, uh, whatever. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Uh, that doesn't come out. I know, right? No way. That's made in there, right? Oh, crap. Let's see. That come out? Shoot. It's got a knife here. Just realize that. Okay. Knife comes out. Oh, that's interesting. That. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Nice little detail. I mean, there's no direction, so you don't get any kind of frame of reference. And I figured if it was loose in the packaging, uh, it would be accessory, but you got that. Okay, is there anything else? No, I don't think so. But figure looks really good. Uh, the hands, I'm curious to see. I can pull that off. It's on the pig. The pig looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Fist. Open hand. Hmm, how does that work? Oh, 
you got to take the ball joint, the peg joint, and put the hand on that. I'm not a fan of that. I like these hands anyway, though. I like the trigger hands. I don't really like fists on figures for whatever reason. So I'll probably just keep these. But yeah, you got to take that ball joint off. So overall, yeah, um, got these for $19.99. I think that's a fair price for what you get. They look pretty accurate, look pretty good. I'm pleased. Now, what happens with the line? I don't know. I think these have been out for a little while. Uh, so, you know, don't expect no great, uh, great uh, amount of views on this video, but uh, I do want to get my opinion out there. I think it looks pretty neat. I like to see how far they go with the line, like for them to do some more stuff. I don't know how many World War II people are out there that, you know, fascinated by the history, everything that went on there. I have uh, sunk a lot of time into it in the past. So, very cool figure. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Oh, well, let's check out the stand before we go. Well, I haven't put a gun in the hand either, so I guess we should do that before we... Plug in there. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, you could, yeah, I mean, pegs, okay, I guess. And then gun. Let's see how that's going to go. Not sure. Don't hold the gun very. Uh, that's one thing. I don't hold the guns. And you can squeeze it and tighten it up, I guess. But that's not a not a great grip on the gun here. Maybe you can I think you can like bend it and make it feel a little bit better. But for this one, yeah, definitely. Uh okay. You know though, some of the times I like to do things where I'm just like uh sling the gun over the shoulder sort of thing. Uh you could do, you know. That sort of thing. Have it hanging down. Whatever you want to do. I don't feel like the hands are the best in the world for holding the weapons. So we'll see you about that. You know, you got this other hand here. Uh, this probably works. Yeah, I think that will work better for the guns. So let me try one of those and we'll come back. All right, swapping out the hands. Uh, that did help. So it holds a little bit better than the other one does. Still not great though. Uh, the hands seem a little too flexible and a little too open. I guess you could maybe heat it up a little bit, get it where you want it. Uh, if I had to say anything, that's probably the biggest negative about the figure in general. But everything else I like. I just, I'm not a fan of the hands. I don't like the, the whole ball peg thing, uh, the way that is. I wish the peg was inside the hand and you just pull the hand off, not as a separate peg that comes out and you're replacing both. I don't, don't know about that long term, but I think that looks better. Folded up stock uh, so it could hold it better too. But so, biggest negative I can say is the hands probably need a little bit more work there. But overall, I think it's a pretty cool looking figure. Just where does the line go? Uh, I'm not sure. But looking at it like this, that's a solid figure. Thank you for watching the video. Like I said, if you're interested in the channel, please hit that like, please hit the share. Think about subscribing. Stay tuned for more. I'll do the American probably sometime this week. We'll take a look at it. Probably be similar, uh, but it does have some different weapons and different aesthetic look to it. So thank you for watching. See you down the road.